Hi, in this video we're going to see how to sketch the graph of a linear inequality. So we're going to do this with two examples. In the first example we have the inequality 3x minus 2y greater than 9. And the first step is to find the corresponding equation, which is the same as the inequality, but you just replace the inequality symbol with an equal symbol. We now have an inequality of two variables. Then we want to get a graph of this equation. So we know how to do that from previous methodology. And the way we learned to do this was to put it in slope-intercept form. So that means we would solve for y. Right? So let's subtract 3x from both sides. and then divide everything by negative 2. And let's put the x term first. We don't need that plus. So the corresponding equation is y equals 3 halves x minus 9 halves. Remember, this lets us identify the slope, 3 halves, and the y-intercept, negative 9 halves. So we can now graph this line. And this line is the boundary line for the graph of the inequality. And it's either a solid line in the case when the inequality has a less than or equal or greater than or equal, solid line. Or it's a dashed line if we just have a greater than or less than symbol. Now, we have a greater than symbol. So we're going to be using a dashed line for the boundary line. All right, so we need to start the graph at negative 9 halves. So we're, and then we're going up and to the right. So we're focusing mostly on quadrant 4. And we're working with halves, so I'm going to make the tick marks in both directions go by halves. So, so that's We now have our axes set up. Let's go ahead and put a dot for the y-intercept. Negative 9 halves, so the right here. And then we go up 3 and over 2 to get to the next point. And remember, these are in halves, so that's up 1, 2, 3, over 1, 2. And the coordinates of that point are 2, negative, 3 halves. And we want to draw a straight line connecting these points, but we're using a dashed line. So points on this line aren't actually solutions because points on this line are where 3x minus 2 equals 9. But we want to know where 3x minus 2 is greater than 9. So that's going to be either down and to the right or up and to the left. Sometimes you can figure it out by looking at the inequality, but I like to use a test point. So the last step is to pick any point not on the line and test it in the original inequality. So... 0, 0 is a good number to pick, a good point to pick, uh, unless that's on the line. Uh, I usually pick 0, 0 for a test point. Test point. And we're going to substitute that into the original inequality.
and the zeros make the arithmetic easy because we just have zero on the left, right? Zero minus zero is zero. So if the test point results in a true statement, then you pick the right side and you would shade that side. If it results in a false statement, you pick the wrong side, you would shade the other side. So we have zero is greater than nine, that is false. So since zero, zero is not a solution, none of these points on this side are solutions. And that means it has to be the other side. Depending on how you're doing this, you can shade or imply the shading of that whole other side. So everything down and to the right of that line would be a solution. Let's try one more example. In the second example, we look at y is greater than or equal to negative 4x. Again, we'll look at the corresponding equation, y equals negative 4x. This one's already in slope-intercept form. The slope is negative 4, and the y-intercept is 0. So we'll start at the origin, and it'll go down and to the right. So again, looking at quadrant 4, but we can center this one a little more. Tick marks here just representing one, two, three. And since we have a greater than or equal to sign, we would want to draw a solid line. So y-intercept is zero, we start at zero. And the slope is negative four, so we would go down four <coughs> over one. And drawing a solid line through those two points, we get the boundary line. And every point on this line is a solution because when y is equal to negative 4x, then it satisfies being greater than or equal. Now this one you might be able to tell just from the inequality where we should go, right? We want to know when y is greater than negative 4x. So when you think of y being greater, you think of going up, right? Because y is up, down. So you might be able to tell from the inequality that y is greater than 4x up here, right, on the top right, as opposed to the bottom left. Again, if that's tough, you can just use the test point. It'll always tell you which side to shade. Now, we can't use 0, 0 as the test point because it's on the line. You have to pick a point not on the line. So you could pick one zero. with a test point one zero put that in the original inequality so we'd have zero greater than or equal to negative four times one which is zero greater than or equal to negative four since zero is greater than negative four this is a true statement and that means we pick the right side uh, the correct side, I should say, which is the right side, and so we would shade that side. So the graph for these is either a solid line or a dashed line that splits the coordinate plane in half, and then one half of that plane then shaded in, or striped in, as I'm doing here. 